Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Tina here with our Blessed and Beautiful Homestead. So today, Joe and I are working on a simple little project in the garage, and I thought I would take you guys along with us. As always, little DIY projects here on the property. So as you guys know, we will soon be in our little cabin in Alaska, and this is a small cabin. It's just under 600 square feet. So we are in the midst of cleaning out closets, selling off a lot of furniture here in our house in Virginia that we just cannot take to Alaska with us um, because our cabin is not gonna hold the size furniture that we have now. So one of the things that I really am going to need at the new cabin is a new kitchen table. And we like to build things. We don't typically go out and buy new furniture. So Joe has built me some adorable farmhouse tables in the past. They were fairly large, about nine feet long. So this one's gonna be significantly smaller. But today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a simple little farmhouse table to go in the new cabin, and we'll be stacking that in the trailer and taking that with us on the road trip in March. So let's head out to the garage, and I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up to build this little table. So we picked up these fence posts. We've built a farmhouse table with these before. These are gonna be the legs to the table. They work really well for tables, but they're also decorative and really pretty. So I'm gonna use these for the four legs of the table. So my plan for the cabin in Alaska is going to be um, a little bit of a mixture as far as decor. We have a Frisian style cabin there in Alaska and right now the inside of it is drywalled which I cannot stand but it's going to have to stay that way until Joe gets up to Alaska with me and Parker and then we can work on some projects to renovate the cabin as we want to. So my plan eventually is to do some cedar paneling on the inside, really give it that cabin look on the inside. It looks like it on the outside but not so much on the inside. So for right now my plan is to get this table built. I'm gonna paint the legs and everything white and then I'm gonna be distressing them and I'm going to stain the tabletop to be the color of what our cabin's gonna be on the inside eventually so that it all matches. So the tabletop is gonna be these two by eight boards. These look really good on the style table that we're making. We've used these before. Nice thick boards for the tabletop. So this is our table now. It is pretty large. You know, it's got six chairs. It's, it's really big, it's beautiful. We got this about two years ago. But this is most definitely not gonna fit in the new cabin. Honestly, something like right about here over might fit in the Alaska cabin, so that's actually a little bit bigger, but that's kind of the size we're going for. It's only me, Joe, and Parker in the Alaska cabin because my grandfather will be with us, but he's gonna have a little guest cabin of his own there on the homestead. So we definitely don't need this humongous table. So we're gonna be selling this and we're gonna need a new one. Done. Yeah, I know. Just nail them in there and you got yourself a table. No need to get crazy. Look how cute that is. Super simple, yet cute. So this tabletop is gonna be four feet long by 29 
What'd you say? 29 and a quarter inches wide. 27 and three quarters. So these are two by twos here that are gonna hold the uh, tabletop together. And then these here are one by threes that'll go on the sides. I think so. Just a little, little strain like that. You got it? Yeah. Just like your projects in school, buddy. Do a line just like daddy did, okay? Like mustard. Huh? Like mustard? Yeah. <laughs> like you're prepping a hot dog. A giant. Nice. Hot dog. Oh, watch what you're doing. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Where's your shoes at, P? Okay. Yeah, just like your daddy, huh? kind of stuff that I don't know how to do it so. You just kind of wing it. But you know what though? Everything that you wing turns out so good. <laughs> You're so talented.
You're supposed to put those in there. Oh, the smells so good, good Joe. Mm -hmm. The wood. Mm -hmm. Coming along, we've got two legs done, two more to go. That should be about it. Looking good. So we're almost done with the farmhouse table. Joe is uh, bolting in the last leg. So this design is just something that Joe made up a few years ago. Like I was telling you guys when he made me my first farmhouse table, this can really be made to any measurements that you want. Super easy, little bit of wood and some little fence posts here. That's what we use and it works out great and it's super cute. Look at how cute this is, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. So we still have to stain it and paint it, but I just wanted to see what it looks like with the chairs. So I have these old antique wicker chairs that I'm gonna use. And then I also have some little chairs here that I got from somewhere, I don't know. But I personally like the mix matched look with a little farmhouse table. So that's what we're gonna go with. So we're trying out some different color stain. This is walnut. Dark walnut. Dark walnut, actually. So the dark walnut is usually like my go-to stain because it really helps bring out the natural grain in the wood. Look at how beautiful that is, it just pops. So I think we're gonna go with that. I think that'll look really pretty. I love how it brings out all the character of the wood. Pretty. And wouldn't you know, a storm is rolling in, it's getting windy, and the rain is starting to come down pretty good. These are my favorite memories with Joe, just hanging out in the garage with a good drink, working on a project for the homestead.
What'd you get, B? I got a pen. Oh, catch him! <laughs> Look! Oh, Yikes. he's fast! <laughs> I shouldn't put him on there, we just stay in that. Yeah. Grab him, B. Let me see him. He's fast! <laughs> get him, P! Look, he's so cute. You should have seen the little baby toes. Yeah? Yeah, we had a whole bunch in the, Look our how ditch. Cute he is. Look how fast, too. They are quick. All right, so I actually just switched out the blue chairs. I forgot uh -huh. that I, I have these antique chairs that I bought for the schoolroom table. And I think that these look way better. They just have a lot more of that detail work that go really, really good with the colors of the farmhouse table. Now the trick with all of this, you guys, is to not overdo it when you're distressing the furniture or else it can look tacky and just too much. So be gentle and be thoughtful with your distressing. And then when you're done, all you're gonna do is take your walnut stain and you're gonna go right back over that white paint and rub it off. And it's gonna give it that nice antique look so that the white is not so bright and it looks really, really good.
Joe surprised me by making a matching coffee table. How adorable is this? This is gonna fit perfectly in our little tiny Alaska cabin. They match and they look really good together. That was so sweet of him. Well, there you have it, my friends, a simple, cute little farmhouse table that you can do too. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with Joe and I today in the garage. And if you like this video and you found it helpful or inspiring, click that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe while you're here. We would love for you to become a part of our YouTube family. Until next time, friends, stay blessed and we'll see you on the next video. Joe, what are you doing over there? Are you twerking? Yeah. <laughs> Stop making noises. Y'all like my noises? I want to be able to like record just the natural sound, but I can't because <laughs> you're sniffling and grunting and moaning, Joe. You cannot moan like that. Baby toad. Oh, 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 hey. come here. Where is he? Oh, he's oh. right on my foot. Watch out. Come here, little guy. Oh. <laughs>